we've interviewed among the Israelis have said to us exactly the same thing, that they are here because they love the nations, because the nations are showing love to them. And this is touching the heart of the Israelis. They're willing to come from the north, the south, the east to the west, just to be in this march because they feel loved. See, for 1,800 years, I'd say almost 2,000, the Jewish people have felt so rejected and so unloved by the nations, and especially by the Christians, because so many atrocities have been committed in the name of Jesus Christ. That when you see believers in the Messiah showing up from the nations here, loving Israel unconditionally, flooding Israel with love, the response from the Israelis is overwhelming. And I'm going to tell you something about the Jewish people. The Jewish people never forget somebody that does something good for them. Never. And so they don't forget. And they come year after year after year. It refills their batteries. It refills their tongues of love that are very, very deficient because as well you know that we are surrounded, people of Israel are surrounded with nations that want to annihilate us. And they're surrounded with BDS and all kinds of stuff like that all over the world. And all of a sudden they see so many nations showing up here with one purpose in mind, to make the people of Israel feel loved. And that is huge because that's melting down walls and it's letting the people of Israel to see the true Messiah, Yeshua. Why did you decide to come to this march? What, what's the purpose? Uh, I have uh, on this march, this is my sixth time to be and uh, it is every time uh, a new experience, even though I have been here so many times. And uh, I decided it because, of course, I want to support, to show to Israel, Am Israel, people of Israel, that we care, that there are nations that actually care about Israel, not only in a political sense, but also in a spiritual meaning. And this, we, I am one of them who is, uh, whose desire uh, is that the uh, people of Israel get saved that they will recognize Yeshua HaMashiach, their Messiah, a Jewish Messiah, the Lion from the tribe of Judah. And this is one of the opportunity here to proclaim these things in the spirit so that the people will get touched. And uh, another experience is to see how grateful, how much they need this expression of the love from other nations. But not just a wishy-washy love, but something that is very concrete, something that is expressed in a concrete faith and the expressions as this organization united Native nations for israel this is for israel and people are just amazed they just uh, they're like confused what's going on but when they realize that it is after the united nations come for israel then they are just like oh yes that's so great hallelujah <laughs> And I think this is so important to be here every year to show our love, our active deeds, that we can bless Israel, not just somewhere home with our prayers, but come here, spend our money, spend our time, and be here for them. Amen. Excellent. In fact, what Eha said, Eha is from Estonia, and uh, what Eha said is very important because the Bible says in Psalms 122, verse 6, Pray for the Shalom of Jerusalem. Now you need to realize that most people don't understand what that means. In Hebrew the word is Shalom Shalom Jerusalem. Shalom Shalom Jerusalem means go. Find out how Jerusalem is. It's not only pray from outside. It's actually come and see how she's doing and see to it that she will be well. That she will be complete and tired. Not divided, no complete entire as Yerushalayim Achat, one city, undivided, eternal capital of Israel. So when we come, and when Ea comes, and all these United Nations for Israel members come here, we are proclaiming exactly that, that we care for the well-being of Yerushalayim, not only the city, the people, the people.